Uh, hi guys, what is up? Today I'm going to be covering part 3 of HTML, of my web development tutorial. So, the first thing we're going to get around to doing is we're going to change our HTML page title. I'm going to add with CSS, and you're probably wondering what CSS is. Now CSS is Cascading Style Sheets, which is a style sheet language that is used to describe how pretty something will look in browser whatever I'll get to that later so what we're gonna do is we're going to create a new file in our project folder and we're going to save it as a style sheet and I'll show you how to do that you're gonna wanna go inside your untitled folder right where our index.html is and we're gonna call it style.css actually I think I might rename it I think I might call it my style that's CSS. All right, and once you're done with that, you're gonna save it. No, I don't want to buy Sublime Text. All right, so now we have both these files inside our project folder. So within our index8.html, I'm gonna show you how you link a style sheet. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to use the link tag. You're gonna to want to put REL style sheet type text slash CSS. You're always gonna want that. Then you're gonna to want to put the href to be mystyle.css. Uh, href just means link. You can put in any link. All right, so what I'm, but we're putting a CSS sheet. Anyway, so what I'm doing now is I'm changing the heading to be, this is a heading in red. So there's our h1 tag, it's gonna say that now. Now within my style sheet, I'm gonna select the h1 using a CSS selector. I'm just gonna type in h1, then I'm gonna set the color to red. Now what you see there is the CSS statement, it ends in a semicolon. I run it and now I see that the heading is red. Alright? Now just know that um, that's basically how you can go about changing stuff. So, now we're going to be back in. Now we're going to be changing our next heading to be blue. Back into my styles.css. Add another selector. This time for the H2 tags. Send it to blue set it up to be for h2 save everything run it save it all make sure run it and you'll see that the second heading is now in blue and now that's basically how you go about using css to change text color there's tons of other things you can change but i won't get into that now i'll probably save that for another video but that is an example now I'll get into some more CSS later. I'll, ex I'll explain how it works. But for now, we're going to add another H2 tag. This is another H2 tag. And I'm going to want to put it in a different color than my other H2 tag. So I'm going to want it to be in green. All right. So I'm setting up my H2 tag. All right. And then I'm going to run my page. And you'll see that we're going to hit a problem. Turns out it's also in blue because in our mystyles.css, we selected everything that is an h2 tag to be blue. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding an ID attribute. Now I do ID equals and I give a personal ID just for this like this tag itself. I'm calling it green head. Now within my CSS I can not only select whole tags but individual elements of the HTML by using the ID selector which involves putting a pound sign or a hashtag whatever you call it then green head then setting the color to be green. After that, I'll save everything. I'll run it inside the browser, and you'll notice that it's another H2 tag, but now it is in green. So, we were able to select an individual HTML element using an ID. So, after that, um, we're pretty good. I mean, we were able to select an individual element, so you guys should probably know how to do that. So, remember to hashtag than the ID. Anyway, now I'm going to show you another way you can go about selecting things. This is a way that utilizes classes. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to create a, um, a ton more paragraphs. So I'm going to create a second paragraph. This is more stuff. Remember to end the paragraph with the closing tag. Then I'm creating another paragraph. Even more stuff. End it with the tag. And I think we're good now. All right, that's enough paragraphs. Now, I'm going to now give all these paragraphs a class. 
the class is going to be called info and every single paragraph is going to have the class info so see how I'm adding the attribute into my HTML inside my opening tag I just add the class equals and two parentheses whatever the name I want to call it which is info for all these so now that I have that I'm gonna be opening up uh, this is how you select classes in CSS you add a dot then you add the info and after you have that you um, we're gonna now set up our color for this so I'm gonna set our color to be um, well let me set my background color I'll set our background color to be purple alright I'm gonna save everything so now all three of those paragraphs should be purple and indeed their background color is purple alright so now you guys know in CSS if you want to select elements by class you use the dot and then whatever the class name is CSS selector alright so just know that these are our statements work you put whatever you want to change whatever you want to change it to then you want to add a semicolon afterwards so each statement will always end in a semicolon you can change more than one I'm not changing the background color of the heading one I'm gonna now make it black I'm gonna save it always end with a semicolon refresh now you see the heading has a black background All right so that is how you go about selecting uh, that's how you go about writing multiple lines of CSS code always remember brackets to, to specify what element you're working with and then uh, semicolon after each line all right so with that um, you guys should now have a basic introduction to CSS